the gift, the gift that just keeps giving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, God damn it. It gets bad, it gets worse today. Today's the day, mate. Where are we going? WA. <laughs> We're going to WA. Wes's best, apparently. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the next episode of our Caravan Killer series on the Gibb River Road, Western Australia. We've just left the absolutely beautiful location of McGowan's Island Beach, which is located up near the northernmost point of Western Australia around 15 kilometres out from the largest community in the Kimberleys region, Columbaroo. We start to make the corrugated, treacherous trek back down the Gibb, Columbaroo Road to Drysdale Station. But before we do, I'm going to take you back a couple of weeks earlier when we spent a few nights in a stunning Lake Argyle. Let's go enjoy our time there, and I'll see you back here shortly. Righto, welcome back to another episode, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, today's the day, mate. Where are we going? WA. <laughs> We're going to WA. Wes's best, apparently. And we're about to go see what it is for ourselves. So we're just leaving this, uh, it's called 4G Gravel Pit, just on the side of the road between, uh, just out of Timber Creek, about 20 k's west of Timber Creek in between uh, Catherine and Kununurra. So we stayed here last night and it's a good little spot. You get 4G as the name. Um, little lake, little dam thing there. You wouldn't you swim. It yeah, a little bit of water there. It almost just looks like a little flood. Got the fire going and yeah, it was, it was awesome. Good little spot. So. But anyway, back to WA, let's get in there. We've been in the Territory about just shy of two months, I think, so. Yeah, so yeah. Territory was awesome too. It's gonna to be hard to beat uh, for, a, for a state that we weren't gonna come into, or Territory. Um, we're definitely glad that we did. But yeah, righto, we're gonna stop in Kununurra first of all. We're gonna catch up with some family uh, for a few hours, and then we're gonna head out to Lake Argyle. Uh, and then to, on Monday, we've got something pretty cool booked. We've got a party boat with all the guys that we're traveling with. So we're gonna go do that on Monday and see what else there is in Kununurra. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see where we end up after that, eh? Let's go see WA. We are pumped. This has uh, been a long time coming, so pretty excited for this. Right, eh? This is, uh, this is where the trip begins, I think. Let's go. <laughs> Wave, mate, where are we? Western Australia. Western Australia, how good. We've made it to the sign. And it's pretty strict here, so don't bring any fruit, veg, nuts, honey. You've got to ditch the whole lot. Uh, it's probably the strictest border crossing in the country. It's the only one we've actually been through so far. Everywhere else you've just been able to drive through. We all know Western Australia is pretty strict. I think they might even be still in lockdown, to be honest, so I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it is pretty strict, so make sure you ditch everything. Um, we're trying to find a bin here. I'm not sure if there's one, if they can let you do it here or not, but we'll see. But yeah, we've made it to the border. Righto, let's get in there and go see some stuff, hey Nash? Yeah, let's do it, mate.
what is happening? It's a uh, party boat day. We're going to jump on one of these party boats in Lake Argyle for one of the girls' birthdays. Tennille, happy birthday. Uh, I'm actually going to get my tinny off as well for the first time. Maiden voyage, mate. So, yeah, let's uh, get it off in the water and see how we go. Give it a start up. Hopefully everything goes all right. There we are here for probably four hours, I reckon, out in this boat. In the tinny, a few beers, sausage sizzle, and just chill out. Should be good. It's a little bit windy today, but uh, what do you do? It is dying off now, which is nice. And there's plenty of bloody big hills here, as you can see, to hide behind some, hide behind to get some shelter. So yeah, it should be good. All right, let's uh, jump on this boat and see what it's about. Sick. Tinny, yeah. out in the middle of Lake Argyle. In uh, Western Australia. Western Australia. How good's this? Pretty cool. You've been driving, haven't you? Yep. Uh, cool spot here. Yeah, it is sick. Just, it is we've got our little party boat behind us. Uh, we had a few too many people, so we had to put our tinny in ourselves and just fo sort of follow along behind them so we could all enjoy the day. Um, but mate, this place is sick. And also there's plenty. Ah, very slow. We're pretty, we're pretty quick, aren't we? With us. Ashley's very quick at driving. Yep. This place is sick. Um, definitely, if you get the chance, come out here. Yeah, very, very picturesque. Uh, I wouldn't expect... A ma it's massive. The joint's massive. Like, yeah, put the drone up earlier and you can't even see... It's like you're at the ocean, you can't see the end of it. So, super cool. Um, yeah, sick day. So, we're going to load the tinny up now, head back and... Yeah, have dinner and chill out. Chill out. We'll uh, might uh, set the camera up to see 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 us put the uh, tinny back on the roof. Yeah. See how we go. Yeah. If we got time, <laughs> maybe not. But how good's this? Oh, nice. Oh, All right. I can see the moon. You can see the moon. Right, on. let's take it back. How amazing was Lake Argyle? With an early start, we slowly make our way back into Clumberoo for special delivery and to top the fuel tanks up for the trek back down to Drysdale Station. As the fuel station is only open on Wednesdays and Saturdays between 8am and 10am, we better start making tracks. Once again, the trip back down has some unexpected dramas and does not go as planned. So let's get back into it. Right, Righto, what's going on? <clears throat> We've just come through, come back through Clumberoo this morning. Uh, we just stopped and picked up those wheel studs uh, from Jason's sister, actually, she flies for Shoal Air, which is a local um, tourist sort of um, company around here that does all touristy flights and charter flights and stuff like that. So, yeah, she actually flew them in for us from um, Kununurra, which was sick. 
uh, to be able to get that done. We actually are getting a couple of tyres delivered as well tomorrow uh, to Drysdale. She's going to fly a couple of tyres out for us. Uh, and i got some wheel nuts as well. So, yeah, it was pretty cool to be able to get that done. Uh, no extra charge and everything. She just did it for free. And, yeah, we're pretty lucky there. Just it's, it's uh, what you know, uh, who you know, isn't it? Not what you know. So, yeah, we just did um, Clumberoo. We're going to fill up on the way out. We're heading back to Drysdale today. Uh, it's three dollars fifty a litre, so I don't know if I'll fill it right up, but I'll put a fair amount in. Amount in. So yeah, that's our plans today. Um, Caitlin's just gone over a little shop there. I don't know what's in there. I haven't been in there before, but I don't know. I just said we're still on the give for probably a week or two, so I said grab a fair bit. If they got snacks and stuff there, just grab it. Yeah, so it'll be a fair old drive today. I think it's about four hundred k, so it's probably going to take us a good five, six hours. I think so. Yeah, she's a fair old drive. Hopefully no dramas though this time. Hopefully we just cruise along and we don't get any uh, any trouble. Right, right. let's see. God damn it! It gets bad, it gets worse today. Just went through a creek crossing, I thought it was going right, and then as I come out, the van sort of went bang up on an edge, and sure enough, my alarm started going off in the car. Ah oh dear. That's a good tire, too, that one. The one on the other side is crappy, I wish it was that one. Oh, you're being dramatic. No, I'm Head not. Now we're down a tire on both the van and the car. We've still got 800 k's on this to go. <laughs> yeah, it should be right. Yeah, that's not a puncher one. That's a, that's stuff. So. We're nearly at dry sale. Hopefully there's another one. <sighs> bugger, 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 bugger. You just gonna change it here, or do you need to move? No, I'll just change it here. Bugger. Okay. Oh well. Another one good for you guys. Bit of entertainment. Hopefully we can get a they're hopefully a pretty standard tire. We'll be able to get one in Drysdale. We're only about maybe 60 Ks from there, so hopefully we'll get one there. Otherwise we'll just cruise along until I think there's a tire place um, called Over the Range or something. Tire tires, which is near Mount Barnett, I think so. We'll just have to get one there as well, if we don't get one in Drysdale. Because uh, we've already got two tyres on tomorrow's flight that's coming out to Drysdale. I don't think they'll fit another one. Well, they might. She said it's an empty flight. I'm off to see, actually. Might yeah. be able to get another tyre on there. All right, get this thing changed, eh? Bugger! Jace? I reckon he needs to do more exercise. He can't even undo the wheel nuts. <laughs> you can see I've been off the tools for a while, eh? He's got an old floppy arm. I'll lend you a hand. Yeah, I got my skin there for you. I had to get on the tools once too. <laughs> once again, good entertainment. You're welcome. Again. Bugger. Must have been a big rock. Must have been a big rock in there. Oh, really? Yeah, this rim is wrecked. Proper job. New rim. <laughs> yeah. 
A rim job. Rim job, rim job. Back into it. Oh, baby. Another one. Hey! Get up! Hey! Rush her off. Rush her off. Can you say hi? Can you carry the prize back to the dead? Penny, where's your teddy? About 90k's out from Drysdale. Uh, she's probably going to take us about two hours, I reckon. Stress level's up a little bit now. Because <laughs> um, i got a tyre on there, not the one that just went. Another one, the camber has been pretty crappy on it, so it's worn the inside of the tire out a lot more than the other. So I'm actually a bit worried about that tire, which I've been the whole trip. And I thought that'd be the one that would go. So, yeah, it's not that one. So anyway, we're gonna have to nurse these things and hope that they have a rim. That rim's cactus. Got to have a rim. I think the tire'll be right. I don't know. It has got a bit of a bubble in it from where it hit. God damn it. Weird, because the car went through there all right, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the car went through fine. Didn't even feel a bump or anything, and then the van must have just been a little bit off it or whatever. And I didn't even feel a bump though, I just heard the pop. No, nah, it was the, it was hit, it hit like an edge. Uh, That's why it like, bounced the caravan up. And then, um, yeah, the alarm was going off, and I was hoping that it was just, because we went through a water crossing, and for some reason I hoped that, I was hoping there was a bit of water in the centre, just playing up a little bit, but it wasn't Surprise! that. Surprise! It wasn't. <laughs> it was blown. Anyway, those sensors are good though, because you probably wouldn't have stopped and checked if your tyre was all right after that. Well, I wouldn't have, I don't think. Probably just would have. You would have just kept going. You would have had a blown tyre, and you've been running, running one tyre for ages. So the old TPMSs, I'd highly re recommend getting one of them. Getting them for this road. So we used half a tank already. Oh, I wasn't full. I only put in 80 litres because it was three dollars fifty a litre. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just enough to get us to Drysdale, hopefully. Righto. Hopefully. Let's hope they got a rim and a tyre. Rim jobby. Otherwise, we'll have to try and get another one on this plane, like I was saying. Get three out here. <laughs> I don't know if she'll be able to bring a rim out, though. Ah, the fun, the joy, the gib. Exciting. What do you expect on the gib, honestly? The caravan killer. That's it. Right. Could have been worse. Yeah? What else? Actually, everything's already broken. If we do another tyre, that's when it's going to be worse. That will be worse. <laughs> Coming here to Drysdale, we're staying here for the night. And um, like I said, the little shop there, a little tie fitting place. Look at this. Oh, newbie. <laughs> Look at that. She looks good. That's the old ones. <laughs> uh, so they just let me sort sort through and go through some of their rims they had sitting there. And I was just lucky enough to find one that fit. So beggars can't be choosers, eh? So just grab that one. It works. The tie fits on it. Tie's back on. And we got a spare again, thank God, because I reckon that other one's going to go at some point. So I'm stoked with that. It was only 40 bucks too to get that done here. Got to be happy with that, eh? Well, absolutely. I thought it would cost like 440. So yeah, the tire was still good, so kept my um, original tire, which is good. And we'll just have to order a new rim when we get to Broome. Righto, let's go set up camp for the night. We've ordered dinner already here. You can have there's a restaurant and a bar, so. Oh, I've actually got to fix this bloody car wheel stud now too, so we'll have a look at that while we're going. The gib, mate. The, the gib. gib. Full of excitement every day. Friends. Never a dull moment. You think it's going all well and good and then it doesn't. Alright, let's go set up camp. The gib, the gift that just keeps giving. Oh, it's Look at this. The DRS is stuffed, I reckon. Oh, look at it. Table's broken. Dust everywhere. What else is going on in here? No, that's it, I think. Bugger. Oh, the table's an easy fix. Just that DRS. I just tapped it out again. But I don't know, maybe it's letting him more just bloody cover it up, I reckon. It's probably letting more dust than what it's doing any good. 
You got a bit on, mate. <laughs> can't be bothered. Big boy, big, big, big girl over here. Oh well, bit of dust. I'm gonna fix this wheel stud. Let's do it. Come on, mate, put a smile on the door. Could be worse, could be at work. <laughs> hey. Exactly. What if, what if we went with Tizza? It'd be so boring. <laughs> Hang on. How'd you go, Nashi? Good? Did you get the wheel stud fixed? Hey, did you get the wheel stud fixed? You're going the wrong way there, mate. So we took this off. That what came out of it. It was actually pretty, ended up being pretty easy, didn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised. Thank God. Just popped out, put a new one in, pulled it in, didn't we? Now the wheel's back on, we're good to go. Time to hit the road. Russell Coit, you know him?